So, surfing the web like Norn Red. Came across Reddit, of course. Anyways, this dude named Norad1, he's like, or she, is like, it is a Japanese speaker. Anyways, went ahead and translated this interview with the Devil May Cry director, Michiru o- Okabe. Uh, what, they did an interview with the magazine Famitsu. I think it's like the Game Informer of Japan. But anyways, they talked about a lot of shit, and I really like Devil May Cry, like fanboy style. I even like the, uh, the reboot DMC. The reboot didn't do so well, so we're continuing on with Devil May Cry 5. And if you play Devil May Cry 4, Nero has the arm, just like Rebellion and Yamato that Virgil and Dante have. It's the physical manifestation of his powers. And he has an arm called the Devilbringer. Alright, so obviously in the trailer we see Virgil like snap it off like a little toothpick and the blood and stuff. Okay, so now he's getting this thing called the Devil Breaker. And in this interview, he kind of hits on it a little bit, and uh, just here's the interview and see what you guys think. Can you tell us about Nero's new prosthetic arm? Okabe. The Devil Breaker. The prosthetic arm created by Nico will change the game drastically. Devil Breaker has some slots for cartridges, and you can carry them when the mission begins. They are very powerful, but fragile. You have to dodge enemy attacks or they will break very easily. So you need to put new cartridges in when one breaks. There are some cartridges placed in each level, and you can also buy them from Nico, who will arrive in a van. The arm is one of Nero's core mechanics in the game. So earlier on in the video, I said it was Virgil who took Nero's arm. That's not, I don't think that's really confirmation, but if you go and look at other fan speculations, uh, they dive really deep into looking at his clothes and the hood everything kind of adds up for the most part so that's what we're saying uh, it's also confirmed that nero is virgil's son and i do hope they shed a little bit of light on that relationship there and maybe a little bit of light on nero's mother okay so back to the devil breaker all right so you already see about three or four different types of cartridges i think one might be your base that might be the electric type attack so you see the electric palm strike uh, the grappling hook, which kind of reminds me of the reboot DMC, which also kind of makes me wonder if there's going to be any traversing using that grappling hook. We also have a time warp, which almost seems like Nero is wielding the Infinity Gauntlet. And we also see a dope-ass rocket arm, and it seems to lock on enemies while Nero is kind of off doing his own thing. And a quick look, what I believe to be perhaps early on in the game, the Devil Bringer before it gets ripped off. Okay, so hearing that small little tidbit in the interview got me instantly thinking about the combat mechanics. That's one thing why I believe a lot of the fans love Devil May Cry is because of the combat, and it is, it's like zero off of Mega Man X. It's not just Mega Man, you just switch the weapons. It's like zero, you gotta really input the buttons. Uh, that's what I dig about Devil May Cry. It's, and with the combat mechanic itself, I wonder how they're going to implement switching out the cartridges in and out of a level. Will you be able to switch mid-combat fairly easy? Is it going to be like a hot key that we press? Uh, I also wonder if there's going to be a leveling system for the arm or the cartridges. Uh, I wonder also if the cartridges will be how simplistic are the pickups. Like, are they just going to be laying there, or are they going to come off of enemies? Are you going to have to do a secret mission to get uh, a super one? Uh, I also feel like this fragile, the fragile cartridges will maybe play big in a more tactical type of combat. So, if they go the route where you pick up a cartridge, the damage output that it puts out is medium, so you can get hit three times by an enemy. But if you get a powerful cartridge and you get hit once by an enemy, it'll shatter. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, the more powerful the cartridge, the easier that it will break. I also wonder if these cartridges are going to be temporary or permanent, or some are temporary, some are permanent. And the more and more I think about it, it does remind me of Mega Man. So Capcom, if you do got a Mega Man uh, thing in the works, I would love a Legends 3 or like a Mega Man X reboot behind the shoulder, realistic looking armor upgrades. That shit would be dope. Okay, but anyways, with Nero having not having the Devil Bringer anymore and having a mechanical arm, it does make me wonder how his Devil Trigger is going to work. 
or how are they going to implement that in at any moment. Uh, a little piece of me wonders if his mom is an angel, and it's like, it comes from the inside. I don't know, I know that's kind of reaching, but that's just that's just something out there that I thought, if they bring the mom in, I thought that'd be cool, because I always feel like the Devil May Cry series has, they've always wanted to implement some sort of heaven angel side of the story, but I don't think they have get, gotten around to it, and DMC did it, but you know how that went. And so, like, even in uh, Virgil's in Devil May Cry 1, Nilo, Nilo Angelo, when you beat him, all his trophies tell you that it's, it is a fallen angel type of trophy. Alright, enough of the bullshit. Okay, so overall, I am excited for this new combat mechanic. I believe it's going to take Nero's combat to the next level and give him multiple styles, how Dante has multiple styles and Virgil has multiple weapons. And I also do believe that in combat video games overall, this game is going to be the next level combat video game. Uh, I, I'm i really confident about this game and how it's going to pan out. And I just hope the fans kind of turn it around a little bit on the back end because I see a lot of bitching about what's going on with the game when I just don't understand it. But anyways... Tell me what you guys think. Do you think this cartridge system is something to look forward to, or do you think it might just be an unnecessary gimmick that they're adding to the combat mechanics? Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the descript below for that interview and also the the website for the actual interview, just in case if you can read Japanese or whatnot, it's there for you. What you do from here is your call. Hey, Dante. Will we meet again? Can't stay away! <laughs>